in a need of replacing your O-rings, making sure your coupler is leak free, drip free on your spillage. For no spillages at the gantry, you've got a simple three O-rings to replace in that time. I'm here to show you how to do it. You need a couple of tools. You need your big screwdriver, a smaller screwdriver, a long nose and your rubber mallet. Just in case you don't like the equipment anymore, you can hit something or it irritates you. Quick and easy couple of steps. You've got the little R-clip inside the coupler here. I'll show you with the screwdriver. It's this one here. You want to remove that. Very easy, very simple. Wet your screwdriver in there. Keep your hand over in case it does shoot into your eye. We don't want injuries. R-clip out. We put that one there. Big screwdriver can be placed one side. Now, you can't remove the handle now. It's still launched. So secondly, you want to turn the coupler around. You'll see we have four automatic latches here. So what you want to do is basically is turn your coupler down on a flat hard surface. Push down on these four. When I say push down on the four latches, they've got little flats here. That would be where you will push down. So just to keep, get the coupler in a latching form like it would latch over the adapter. In that sense, what I mean by latching, you'll see this outside popper has jumped up against to that stopping ring there. That means it's in a latch form. So now you can turn your coupler back around. You would see your handle is now free to be moved. Now your popper is open. You can take your handle and pull it out. On your handle, you'll find this little spacer bush here. That would just be going in there. Just to, that's just to keep your shaft in one size when it's inside there. Nothing serious, but please put that belt back. Then you can actually just lift your coupler up, put the coupler one side, now you get to the ends of the coupler, the working mechanisms. Spring wave crescent, very important, always put that one back. After that, you'll see in your coupler you'll have your cam plates. Your cam plates, very simple procedure, just always check if you don't have cracks anywhere on them because if you do your poppet could be standing out there and it could be causing the drips in the meantime your earrings on your seals there's nothing wrong so just check through them they're very simple to replace got little split pins there and there bend them over pull them out got little pins take it out you'll get a kit like this with all these equipment you can throw that away keep your your centric bush because that normally doesn't break put that back put them back and then you can work from there. Very important to look how your cam plate's going. Your bend goes towards this flat area here. So when you do replace them, make sure it's in that form. Okay, in that form. Now, to get to the seals. Put this down, push down there, you'll get your poppet ring. Your poppet is done, you can put it one side. On your poppet ring, you've got the following. You've got an o-ring on this side, very easy to replace, just pull it out of your Flat screwdriver, wedge it in there, pull up, pull out. Okay, next you have an o-ring inside here, a bit more difficult to replace. Get yourself the screwdriver, wedge it in there, I'm not going to do it today because I'll damage my o-ring. When you do take this one out, you can throw that away because it will be damaged for life. You wedge it in there, you'll remove it. When you put it back, you work on a press that way, press that way on the four points. Your left side's pushing out and then just work the o-ring in all the way through. After you've done all your o-rings, you'll see there's one seal on the front. This is called your face seal. Very important seal. When it's latched towards your adapter, when it's latched towards your adapter, it stops leaks coming down there, dripping onto the floor while the product's running through. So always replace your face seal. Make sure there's no marks, no damages on this. Keep a drip-free area. Easy, just pull it out here. Put your screw with your screwdriver in, pull it out, press back. Also, same, same way in the four areas, pushing in, pushing in, pushing in. After you've done all of this, grease your coupling again. Grease your bushes and your o-rings, very important. You get that in the kit, in the seal kit, you'll have all of that. After this, very simple to put back. You take, bring back your poppet. You'll take your poppet ring, slide it over. After you've done that, you take your spring, your spring crest. Put it over there, bring your coupling back, bring your coupling back, put it over the poppet. Now this is where the careful part comes in. If you have your cam plates the wrong way around, this is not going to work anymore. Then you bring your shaft, 
put your shaft in, wedge it in there, remember your little push comes on this side, slide it in and bend over your hand. If your puppets aren't, if your cam plates aren't showing the right way, you would not be able to move the handle around. Change it around and you'll be there. Afterwards put back your arc clip, very simple procedure, it just clips back in there, in the little hole, all done. Delatch the coupler, coupler ready for my room for work on the gantry again.